my friends, Lucas with Miller Card Trading here. So I've been opening a lot of Topps Chrome Platinum retail and hobby lately. But the other release that's out right now, and you guys know this, Topps Series 2, 2024 Topps Series 2. So I've opened a few blasters of that uh, just to check it out while I waited for Shaboom! a couple of jumbo hobby boxes that i ordered from the tops website so i got exactly two of these i i generally really enjoy the the hobby jumbo boxes of the flagship releases uh because you get the guaranteed auto uh plus there's always certain things you can only get in hobby and jumbo uh certain inserts and uh, different kinds of autos and whatnot. So I thought I'd probably this will probably be the one and only time I open very much series two, especially on a video. So I grabbed two hobby jumbo boxes and we'll check them out. We'll see what we can get and let's get started. Before I do, if you could leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Not only that, it really helps me out. Helps YouTube decide who likes my videos, if anybody likes them at all. And uh, helps them find new people to show it to. Okay, enough of that. Let's check out Series 2 Hobby Jumbo. And we've got Juan Soto in his Yankees garb on the box, which is cool. I wonder when the last release... Uh, that Juan Soto was on the cover of. Maybe one of you guys could leave a comment below and let me know which release Soto was on last. I mean, I'm sure I could Google it, you know. Okay, so we got our two fantastic silver packs, and they're purple this time. Purple silver packs. We've got ten jumbo packs. In each of these boxes and each pack has what 40 cards in it so that's 400 cards uh, this is a 350 card checklist uh, so I've always heard that you can generally build a whole set out of one jumbo box I don't know if that's true or not I've never tried it uh, but from the sets I've built of other releases I think there's probably more duplicates um, then would allow you to build a whole set, but who knows? Maybe, maybe it is true. All right, let's check out our silver packs. So you guys know what these are mojo packs and you can get autos in these and numbered variation numbered parallels. Jacob Amaya rookie card. Ronnie Mauricio rookie. Johan Rojas rookie and Mason Wynn rookie four rookie cards uh, No number cards no autos, but four decent rookies Oh beauty Shohei right on I'll put that in my collection. Jose Rodriguez rookie card. Ooh, we have a parallel, guys. Right on the back, we've got a purple, it looks like. So we got a Reese Olsen rookie. And we've got a Mason Wynn purple. That is number to 75. Right on. That's nice. Very nice. La, uh, let's see my the, the series ones that I opened I didn't get I don't think I got any parallels or autos right on that's a nice one 57 of 75 we'll go ahead and sleeve that up because that's our first hit right on and i got a nice little stack of rookie cards 
And a Shohei for my Shohei box. Okay, let's crack open these jumbo packs. All right, so in general, the hits are in the middle. But I'm going to look through these. Maybe just with this first pack. Junior Camonero rookie. Ty France. Mason Wynn rookie. James Altman Gold Cup. Jacob Lopez. And we've got a backwards card. Alright, what's it going to be? Gold foil. So gold foils are a hobby jumbo exclusive parallel. Parker Meadows rookie. All right. This is one of the new inserts for series two covering the field. Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's an all-star insert. Sandy Koufax. And that looks like it. There are short prints. There's four short prints right at the end of the series. Uh, cards uh, 700, 699, 698, and 697. Starting with Jackson Holiday, which has multiple variations and is a, a spoof on the F face of Billy Ripken error card. If you know anything about that, we got a home run challenge. Freddie Freeman. We got a gold here, Houston. Altuve. Man, I was just watching a, a YouTube special about the Astros. It was really interesting. Uh, 1060 out of 2024. And what do we got here? Rainbow Foil, uh, Kansas City Royals team card. This is another one of the new inserts around the horn. Alex Bregman. We got the Aaron Judge 1989 insert. So we're looking for at least one auto and probably two memorabilia cards. Uh, although I'm sure it's possible to get more than one auto. Hessen Kirstad rookie. Will Benson, Nick, Bryce Miller, David Fry, Leo Verpiguero. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Huh, Brett Beatty. Appar uh, apparently, this is a new color. Uh, parallel. Is that a uh, aqua? I think it is an aqua. So that's an aqua icy uh, number two three ninety nine. Right on. I think I remember now seeing that on the checklist. All right, gold foil. Dylan Carlson covering the field. Nico Horner. And all-star insert, Austin Riley. Oslevis Basabe. I love that guy's name. It's so fun to say. Oslevis Basabe. Kind of just rolls off the tongue. Okay, I think we've got our first mem card here. These aren't super valuable, but they're collectible for some people. Oh, nice. Julio, baby. I might have to keep this one. This is ah player worn. Seems like usually the tops ones are game worn, but this is just kind of a boring old napkin one. But you gotta love Julio. And we've got uh, this is the city to city insert. Freddie Freeman. 
This is Rainbow Foil, Victor Robles. And then fan favorites, insert Aaron Judge. And Kirby Puckett on the 1989 insert. Okay. So we found one of our hits so far. Nothing too special. But at least it was a good player. Kind of a boring old napkin relic. Okay. We've got a Shohei City to City. I'll probably put that in my collection. Cedric Mullins. Uh, Rainbow Foil. And a Freddie Freeman fan favorite. And Dan B. Swanson, 1989. Okay, not, nothing too spectacular. There's Gunner Gold Cup. Uh, so far, we're halfway through this box. Nothing too spectacular. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to holler down the stairs about. But, I had to open a couple of these just to see if we could get anything cool. And you never know. Ah, here's an auto. It looks like a red parallel, too. Let it be a good player. Come on. Tristan Casas, right on. He's a good player. That's number 13 of 25. Look at that. 13 of 25 team color match. Tristan Casas. That's a dynamite auto, you guys. <laughs> right on. I mean, he's no longer a rookie, but that's totally okay. For one of these baseball stars autos, which are generally not super valuable, depending on the name, uh, getting the red parallel and getting a decent name is key. So there we go. Tristan Casas. That's a beauty. Right on. Awesome. Love that card. Okay, we got a gold foil. Clayton Kershaw. Ooh, and we've got a uh, Ellie De La Cruz insert here. This is the um, significant statistics. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this one up. Because it's got Ellie on it. It's got the Rookie Shield on it. And that is wholly collectible, sellable, and all of that jazz. I might even put it up here. Okay, Randy Johnson. That was a good pack, you guys. Randy Johnson, 1989 insert. Looks like we got another gold coming up. Let it be a monster player. There's Shohei. I think I already got this out of a blaster, but I'm going to have to put it aside just in case I, I don't know, I forget. Everson Pereira rookie and, ah, Michael Conforto. Gold. That is 1890 of 2024. And what do we got here? Trevor Larnock, uh, rainbow foil, and another Ellie insert. Ellie De La Cruz fan favorites. That's uh, another insert with the rookie shield. Oh, fantasy favorites. Sorry, I thought it was fan favorites, but I just see now that the to see part was cut off earlier. Sweet. I can definitely sell Ellie De La Cruz rookie inserts. All right, three more packs in this first box. Uh, we're still looking for one of our hits. It's gonna be a mem card. You never know. It all it could be a uh, an autograph patch. You know, I've gotten those out of jumbos before. In my 2023 series one jumbo case. Uh, I got a Juan Soto patch auto. 
out of one of my jumbo boxes. Man, that was really sweet. One of my greatest cards. And we've got something coming up here. What do we got? Oh, Major League Material. Looks like a parallel, though. It's uh, Jose Abreu, who unfortunately, I believe, was just released uh, by the... Ash by the uh, What team was he? He wasn't on the Astros anymore, was he? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, 27 of 199. Is this a black parallel? Possibly? I'm sure there's all kinds of Jose Abreu collectors out there, though, still. So at least we got a uh, numbered parallel. And this is actually game used, too, which is cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even notice this, you guys. It's a vintage stock. Number to 99. Lucas Sims. Vintage stock. See, that's got the old Tops logo. It's got the grayish colored paper. The older design look. And the back is gray. You can see right here. 70 of 99 man great pack i saw the reds though i just knew it was ellie de la cruz but of course it wasn't that's okay vintage stock is always a great hit all right vintage stock baby one of those cards that always surprises me because I'm never really looking for it, you know? Uh, Brandon Drury, gold foil. We got Covering the Field, Yelich. Julio, 1989. Victor Robles, he's actually on the Mariners now. I wondered what team he came from. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere in left field. <laughs> All right, that was a great pack, you guys. Two nice hits inside of that one. So we've gotten all three of our, uh, our all three of our hits, our two patches, our auto, and uh, s several numbered cards. Uh, the auto is numbered. The vintage stock is numbered. Uh, the purple out of the silver pack is numbered. We got two gold cards that are numbered. So, man, pretty good box. Really. We got a Trevor Story something or other. Uh, rainbow foil. And around the horn, Jeff Bagwell. And then the Hank Aaron All-Star. All right, my friends. Last pack of this box. Let's see if they're going to give us any more cool hits. Something else numbered or, or who knows. You never know what you're going to find in one of these boxes. A Topps Reverence Autograph Patch. Now that would be phenomenal. I actually got one of those out of my case of 2023 Jumbo as well. And it was a redemption, and it was out in the middle of the base cards. It wasn't in the center with the rest of the hits. It's really strange. Like it just got tucked in there. All right, we did get another numbered card. It's the 499. Green foil, forest wall rookie. Go ahead and sleeve that one up. All right, we got a couple of foil hits out of there. Gold foil, Graham Ashcraft. And covering the field, Freddie Freeman. And Clayton Kershaw, All-Star. Okay, pretty good box, I would have to say. Better than I was expecting. Because like I said, I never expect to get a, um, a vintage stock. 
Okay, that's our first box. We got a couple of foils. We got two mem cards. Let's see, where's the other one? We got a Breu, that one's numbered. The Tristan Casas numbered auto. Sweet vintage stock. A Julio napkin patch. And the numbered card out of the silver pack, which is awesome. And a couple of LE uh, rookie inserts. Okay, box number two. No reason to stop now. Come on. Ah, silver packs. Okay, there's our 10 packs, but you know what? We're going to crack these babies first, and maybe we'll get an auto out of one of these. That would be dynamite. Dynamite. Okay, we got Emerson Hancock. Man, he's been a great pitcher this year. That's a rookie. Marco Luciano, that's a rookie. Joe Maurer and Tyler Soderstrom, that's another rookie. Oh, nice. There's a Gunnar Henderson. Sweet. Okay, doesn't look like we got a parallel this time. Pete Crow Armstrong, rookie. Mariano Rivera. And Nick Gonzalez. Okay, no autos. No more parallels out of these. But that's all right. We got, at least we got one. Junior Caminero. All right, we got a couple of backwards cards here. Let's see, this is out of 199. That's a red. Wilver Abreu, that's a rookie. Team color match too, you guys. Red foil for the Red Sox. That's got to have some value for sure. I don't know too much about uh, this guy, this rookie. But if he deserves a card in the set, then I think he's probably decent. All right, red foil Red Sox card. That's cool. Nice low number too. Geez, here's another numbered card. Uh, 166 out of 299. That's a black parallel all-star insert. Corey Seager, right on. That's another different kind of a numbered hit. Sweet. Black. I like that um, all-star insert black instead of white. I think that looks really nice. Heck yeah. What else we got? Probably a rainbow foil. Nope, a gold foil. Uh, Brandon Lowe, gold foil. And then a significant statistics of Patrick Bailey. These are nice looking this year, I think. Much better, uh, they look much nicer than they did in last year's set. And David Wright, 1989 insert. Man, that was a pretty good first pack. Two really nice uh, numbered hits to start with. But I'm steady posted looking for those short prints. And we got a Byron Buxton home run challenge Ooh, another ellie de la cruz city to city did i get that one no i didn't get that one yet all right another ellie rookie insert so this right here is their airport code so apparently that must be the airport code for the cincinnati airport Moving right along. 
I'm glad I got these now. I, I waffled on it back and forth. Should I bother opening any Series 2 at all? I just, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's just not worth it. And then I have all these base cards to deal with. But, you know what? I wind up just giving them away or whatever. And the hits, I mean, they are really piling up. So, this was definitely worth it. Javier Assad. We also got to be on the lookout for those golden mirror image. They have a nice gold back. So they're easy to uh, recognize. Dustin May, gold foil. Around the Horn, Matt McLean. That's a good one. And <laughs> another different Ellie insert, rookie insert. Dude, I'm going to have the whole set. Every one of Ellie's rookie inserts out of series two. Sweet. Four different ones. I do love jumbo packs though. Because it's not, you don't have to open so many packs with just a few cards in them. You get a nice fat stack. Looks like we got a mem card here. You get a nice fat stack and you only have to open, you know, I don't know. There's something I like about that. Although do, I do like opening hundreds of packs. It's just harder to make a video out of a box that has a million packs with only a, a few cards in it. You know, it takes a lot of editing. Ooh, it's one of the Acuna inserts. Man, I thought those were really rare. I've never even seen one of these. It's the Silver Slugger Award winner. Wow. I don't know how rare these are, but I've I've honestly never even seen one. Uh So really it's like a manufactured patch, I guess you could call it. So I could be wrong, these could be super common. Wow, that is really cool. I thought it was that um, special Ronald Acuna Jr. insert set. There's a whole set surrounding him and his 4070 uh, from last year. But it wasn't. It's the Silver Slugger. Uh, manufactured Relic. I think, I think it's considered a Manufactured Relic. Wow, that's cool. Yep, I've never seen one of those before. So there you go. I'm hoping that that baby is rare. All right, we've got uh, Gold Jake Myers out of 2024. And this is probably a rainbow foil. Yep, Joey Wendell. And Luis Arias covering the field. And Mookie Betts, who, man, just fractured his wrist or something. So terrible for him. He's been having such a great year. It's really a bummer. I had to go look it up. Okay, these, these aren't even rare. Uh, they're just, they're the manufactured relic that comes in Series 2 uh, hobby. So I got all excited for no reason. Oh, well, it's still a really cool looking card. We got another gold. Miguel Rojas. Yoendris Gomez. It's a rookie. Uh, out of 2024. 1998. Then we've got a rainbow foil. Uh, Blue Jays. And a Bobby Witt Jr. Significant Statistics. I wonder if this is a blue parallel. Might be and it might not be. Since he's on the Kansas City Royals, which is a blue team. This seems awful blue. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that one up. 
All right, Tatis All Star, Chris Bassett. Oh, here's our auto. It's a rookie, Jose Rodriguez. Hmm, not super familiar with him either. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. So he's a White Sox rookie. Okay. Up oh, here's another numbered card. That's a green foil, St. Louis Cardinals team. Not super valuable, but somebody trying to build a set of green foil would want it. I gotta put it behind that red one. That red is so sweet. And gold foil, Dominic Fletcher. And are you kidding me? <laughs> it's another Ellie De La Cruz rookie insert card. I keep thinking I've gotten one of each of them, and then I, I keep getting a different one. All right, we got to look at these real quick. So, we've gotten his 89, his city, can, uh, city to City, his Fantasy Favorites, his uh, Significant Statistics, and his Covering the Field. So that's pretty sweet, wouldn't you say? I think so. I mean, they're not rare or anything, but uh, I think they're definitely so. So the second auto is a little bit of a letdown, but... You know, you can't, you can't always get the best, sweetest, awesomest card every time. Uh, unfortunate. And it's just a base. Jaron Duran, another Red Sox hit. Huh. All right, it's not a parallel or anything. It is game used, which is always cool. Game used, Major League Material. Uh, right there. And what else we got here? Gold Foil, Yoshinobu. That's a good one. Slippable. Rookie card. Uh, Pete Alonzo, Fantasy Favorite. Juan Soto All-Star card. Okay, that's probably all of our hits now. We've gotten two relics and an auto. So I wouldn't expect too much more out of this. Got this pack and one more. But I'm pretty happy with my two boxes. Especially that first box. Man, it was a whopper. Okay, we got a gold. Ken Walch, Jose Caballero. La, 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 la. And that's 1135 out of 2024. And we've got uh, Andrew Saul Frank, Rainbow Foil. Ah, and a Shohei Significant Statistics, uh, 433. That's his uh, weighted on base average, his Woba. Yeah, these look much nicer this year. That is going in my collection. In fact, let's just put that with Bobby Wet here. And Sandy Koufax. There's Oslavis again. Basabe. All right, Kyron Paris rookie there at the end. Okay, you guys, last pack. Last pack forever of Series 2, probably. Okay.
Heston again. new I haven't seen this one before the first pitch insert Mallory Swanson Wrigley Field September 7th 2023 huh uh, Chicago's pro soccer team and also on the US national team cool I hadn't seen one of these before I don't know if they're rare or just uncommon. Oh, no way. It's Oslevis Basabe. Ha. Gold foil. Gold foil Basabe. And around the horn, Bryce Harper. Now a first baseman. Austin Wells. And it looks like that is going to be it, my friends. Gunner. We'll take a peek at our hits real quick here. At the end, I think I definitely got some cool stuff. I mean, I know I got some cool stuff. Starting with our two autos, I guess. We just got a base, um, baseball stars of Jose Rodriguez. But this nice red parallel Tristan Casas team color match. That is 13 of 25. Really nice low numbered auto. And this nice ex unexpected vintage stock number to 99. 70 of 99. And we got a numbered major league material. Jose Abreu. That's out of 199. And then just a base major league material. Then we got this manufactured relic, uh, Silver Slugger Award winner, Acuna. And Julio, napkin relic. Uh, yeah. So that's our relics and our autos. And we got this insert, which I think is kind of rare. I'm not sure how rare. I'm going to have to look it up. Our foil cards. We got a decent bit of foil here. Red out of 199. That's a rookie, so that's cool. Forced wall. A couple of green foils out of 499. And the new one, uh, 399. Uh, that's aqua, I guess. Out of 399. So some good foils. We got a nice Corey Seager uh, black parallel out of 199. No, 299. 89 insert. Uh, last numbered card is going to be this sweet purple Mason win. That's just 75. And that came out of the silver pack. And then some unnumbered stuff. Mostly Ellie De La Cruz inserts and a gold Yoshinobu. So that's all of our hits, except for this big old stack of gold foils, rainbow foils, golds to 2024, and, oh, oh yeah, it's a show, right? and our uh, silver pack, mostly rookie cards. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, watching all the way through to the end, especially, unless you jumped right to the end just to see my hits, which... You know, more power to you. That's cool, too. I appreciate it. Please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you dare. And I'll see you in the next baseball card video.